Hey, thanks for stopping by downnoha.com. It is Friday, September 30th, and we are just about ready to tip over into October here tomorrow. So I wanted to get this video out here for the weekend because I think it's important enough to get you queued up for Monday morning, get you on the right track. Uh, I have this video up here currently. If you click on this graphic right here, it will take you to the video. But the video that I have out there right now is going to move over to the archives. So uh, the one that I'm doing right now is going to take this one's place. But I think it's important that you take a look at this video. Uh, it says down here, I love basements. And the reason why is there's only one way to go, and that's up. So that was the video for from yesterday from 929. And I think you should take a look at that one. And it will be over in the archives uh, and you'll be viewing this one most likely, but if you want to take a look at this one, you can go over here to the to the archives link right here down near the end of the menu uh, item list and just click on the archives and that should take you right over to the archives. So here's where we need to be and you can see that uh, all the old videos that we've run are stored in here and um, this one that's on the front page will be all the way down at the bottom and oops we jumped up a little bit there and it'll be right here in the place of this one right here so when you come into the archives just go all the way to the bottom you'll see the latest video that I just moved over this is 927 so that next one will be 929 and I'll pop it in here and you can take a look at that so uh, take a look at that one and after you get done with this one because it's got a little bit more information in it as to what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, as for today, um, the markets really, really <clears throat> tanked quite heavily. And you can see we lost about 240 points today in the Dow. Uh, so tough day on the Dow and this true to form is actually um, staying with where we thought it would stay let me get this little guy out here and if you just kinda it's a little bit lost a little bit more steam than, than we than I actually expected to tell you the truth but if you if you just kinda even this up here I figured that this would actually come up here and touch this but it doesn't even have the the ability to do that but you know there were some downgrades again uh, that had happened in the financial world and so in the European issues and stuff like that are not helping the Dow out very much right now so uh, we kind of expected that but tough day on the Dow so that's all I really want to say about that uh, this thing's probably gonna come back down here to this level somewhere it could try to push back up again. It's anybody's guess. It's just kind of moving along laterally right now, but probably I'll come back and hit this level of support down here. For those of you who are interested, it was down in this area and probably will come back down to this area again. Okay, so enough said on that. Let's just move on to the next thing. The thing that I want to talk to you about is the uh, HPG uh, GS High Plains Gas. This thing is really taken off it was here uh, on my last video at uh, just under six cents I put in a buy order for this uh, for six cents or five depending on which way it went so I'd pick up orders either way I went uh, as it turned out it struck a buy order at um, five nine 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 or something like that like that so anyway I picked up quite a number of shares on this uh, yesterday and um, did quite well on it today so very happy with it today not to say that it's going to stay up there this could be anything this could be uh, a pump and dump that's going on I don't think so because I think you'd see more action out of it but this, than this but you but you you know you do have smaller pump and dump companies and this has been a very um, a very uh, um, a popular uh, stock for the penny stockers to uh, to go after so it wouldn't surprise me if this is just a premature bump up from the news and stuff that's come out on this but we'll see we'll see if this thing maintains uh, its upward trend and uh, we'll go from there so for now 
we're doing pretty good. We had a really nice day today in a very negative market. So that's not bad. I'm very happy with that. Um, you can see here that the the trend has been un over oversold down here and is and has uh, started to take a, a turn for the upward side. And also you can see down here now that the 10-day uh, moving average is starting to cycle up. So that's what we want to see. We want to see uh, both of those uh, heading upwards and um, see some good momentum starting to move uh, upwards on these. And hopefully it'll it'll maintain it and keep on just keep on uh, heading up. So that's that's really what we're looking for on this one. If you go in and you look at some of the information on this company, uh, High Plains Gas. Yeah, this was a, a letter issued to its shareholders, and they say, growth, uh, opportunity for growth uh, of the revenues on these assets by returning idle wells to production. The cost of drilling new wells ranges between 180000 to 250000 We purchased the existing wells for approximately 6500 each and can reactivate them for between 2500 and $5,000, which includes basic maintenance. To date, we have returned more than 250 of these wells to production and believe we can return an additional 500 wells to production with an aggregate capital investment of approximately 1.25 million to 2.5 million. We believe an investment of this size could bring up our production in the north and south fairway fields between 28,000 and 32,000 net uh, whatever MC cubic feet of some type uh, per day uh, at four dollars per MCF natural gas price this investment would create strong revenue opportunities for High Plains and its shareholders I think it's always so timely okay so it is also clear that improved natural gas prices will have an exponential acceleration in revenues so uh, that's what we're looking at right there, that last sentence. Um, strong revenue opportunities for High Plains and its shareholders and that uh, the exponential move in gas prices is going to affect this considerably. So there's a couple other things in here. If you go through and you look at... Um, some of the previous articles on this that have come out you can see that uh, back here in uh, June July it was it was penny stock penny stock penny stock penny stock you know because it was starting to fall if you remember um, the original chart on this back between June and July this thing started heading down so the penny stockers were getting a little excited about it and and starting to bang on the cages but it just kept falling and um, and then up here uh, that was the letter to the shareholders and then yesterday they came out with um, announced the field crews have returned the fish oil bed methane uh, field to production the wells in the field have been reactivated at a minimal cost to the company so this company is just doing a lot of good stuff and that's uh, one of the reasons why I think that you should get onto it now here is something that I found interesting at the beginning of this month if you look at this um, this is uh, September 2nd 2011 HPGS this was the total shares traded 190 of those shares traded, 82,090 were shorted. So if we go back and we look at the volume between, you know, it usually does about 100, 200,000 uh, shares. But if we look at um, the 29th, I think it's what, well, well, yeah, because we can look at yesterday. So let's take a look at the 29th here and see what H High Plains did. Okay, sorry, I'm splitting my brain cells here. Let's see what High Plains did on the 29th. That's what happened there. Go back here. Okay, here we go. So here we go. Uh, is that right? 929. Okay. So we had yesterday 250 
thousand shares, almost two hundred fifty-one thousand shares traded, and we had almost a hundred and forty thousand of those shorted. So the shorters are ramping up, and so are the buyers. And if we go back and we look at today, we had a volume of one point one million dollars, or I'm sorry, one point one million trades uh, executed today. So huge huge amount compared to yesterday uh, a quarter of a million traded yesterday a, a full million traded today so I don't think I can bring up the 30th yet on shorted trades but I'm sure I'm curious as to how much got oh it is up okay so let's see how much got shorted today so there it is 700, almost 750,000 shares were shorted today. And and they didn't make a dent. It still went up. They didn't drive this down. It didn't, they didn't drive it down at all. Out of, out of uh, 1,110,729 shares, 742,260 were shorted. and it didn't stop it so that's amazing to me that's a lot of upward pressure had they not been shorting these shares this thing would have gone through the ceiling but they kept it suppressed but I'll tell you now that they know they'll be hitting it hard come Monday but it also tells me that this thing should continue to go up and then um, they may get this thing to to go back down they may force it back down by Tuesday maybe even Wednesday but it's at the three-day rule on shorting the shares they got to cover their shorts so uh, within Monday Tuesday Wednesday they should a lot of these uh, will have to start covering their short positions which means that the buying pressure keeps up this thing's gonna be pulled back like a slingshot and then if they start covering their shorts they're going to shoot this thing through the ceiling that's what I'm hoping for so that's where we need to be uh, with this um, just it's cheap enough just to hold a speculative stock like I always said don't put more into something than you can afford to lose because you know you can always lose it but you know you're still sitting at nine and a half cents per share which is still a pretty good bargain so uh, you didn't if you didn't get it at six you can still jump in there now at nine cents uh, I still think it's worth it and um, I think you'll probably do pretty good on this one. They're really starting to do some good stuff here. So that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to get this out there for this weekend and post it for you. And so let you think about it over the weekend and get uh, involved in it come Monday if you're, if you're interested. All right, take care and uh, have a good weekend and we'll see you next week. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. Thank you.